Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at Windows Live Movie Maker and how we speed up, slow down, and pause portions of the video. And towards the end I'm going to show you how to add multiple pieces of music or audio clips into your video presentation or your video clip. Let's go ahead and start with the add videos and photos. You can add a video or a photo whichever you'd like but in this case because we're going to be showing you the speed up, slow down, and pause, we actually need a video. There are sample videos in the video library if you want to practice, or you can use one of your own videos. Now I bring this in, and as you can see, there's some text right away that's tagged to this video. Now whenever you add text or you add pictures in this, it defaults to 7 seconds, and of course you can shorten this, or you can lengthen it you can just go here and you can go to the very end and you can drag this and make it a little bit longer you could also go in there and click on text tools right here and there is a duration right here we could increase the duration to 10 seconds or maybe we want to just leave it at 7 or even shorten that and that's how you do that now what we're going to show you though is the video tools. When I click on the video you'll notice that this ye little yellow thing comes up here and if you click on the edit tab you get this nice ribbon. So I want to speed up or slow down a portion of this video. Now how we do that is we drag this black slider bar, it's a scrubbing bar to allow you to see what your video looks like. And I'm going to stop this right about here because I want to show these birds flying a little bit faster. So I need to split that right before the area that I want to speed it up. Now I want to scrub this to the part where I want to end the speed up part. And that's right where these seals come in. So I'm going to drag this a little bit less. Okay, right about there is where I want to split it. So this is the portion of the video that I want to speed up. So once I've clipped in front, or cut in front and behind, split this, I click on this portion of the video, and I change my speed. And you can see it goes all the way up to 64 speed. Well, in this case, I'm just going to speed it up by 2. And then you can see it shortens this because it's going to travel much faster now. I will warn you, though, that when you are doing any kind of speed up or slow down, you are not going to get the audio portion of whatever it is that you're doing. It's not going to sound like the chipmunks or anything. It's just going to breeze right through that. So you may want to add music afterwards. Now this is the speed up, slow down portion of this. Now what if we want to pause a portion of that video? Well, once again, let's drag the slider bar over to somewhere where we want to pause it. It's kind of a nice moment right there. So once again, we're going to have to split the video right there because we're going to pause it. Now what I want to do is I want to drag the slider bar onto the previous video clip because I want to add the split right between the two. You always go to the one beforehand. Now we're going to go to the Home tab and we're going to take a snapshot. So if I click this button, it's going to create a snapshot that I'm going to save on my desktop. So I click Save here, and what it's going to do is it's going to add that snapshot in between the two video clips. Now, as a default, once again, you can see that it says that it is 7 seconds. So if we go to the Edit tab, we can because we are on a still picture, it doesn't give us the speed option here, but it does give us the option of pausing it. Now, maybe I only want to pause it for 2 seconds here. So when I scrub this, as you can see, it's going to be live video, and you can tell that because of the little sprockets here. And as I scrub this over, it's going to pause for two seconds before the video continues again. So you have that nice pause action right there. And once again, this has sprockets, so this is a video clip, and this does not have sprockets, so this is just a snapshot or a picture. Right here, we can tell that there is trimmed or there's some uh, effects going on. If I hover over this, you can see the speed 2x there. So that's where you can tell is going on. So there we have it. 
speeding up, slowing down, and pausing your video. Now the last thing I want to show you is from the home tab as well. We want to add music. So when you're adding music, you can add music right from where you were at, or you can add music to the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and take my scrubber bar all the way to the beginning again. I'm going to add music, and it's going to take me to my sample music library. I'm just going to add music right there. But let's say I want this video or this audio to go along with it. The audio is five minutes long. Well, I really don't want five minutes of this video. Maybe I want, starting here, I want some different music to start. Well, I take the scrubber bar over here. That's the easiest way to do it. Take it over there, and then we're going to add music again. Now, you click the down arrow here because it says add music from this current point. If you add music here, it's just going to tack it on to the end. So we need to add music from this current point. Now, I'm going to pick a different piece of music and as you can see right from the scrubber bar it goes ahead and it adds music from right there. Now under the music options you also have the ability to go in and tell it what part of the song that you want to start it at, where do you want it to end right there. Start time here is start time on the actual video. Start point in the video is maybe you don't want this song to start right at the very beginning. Maybe it's really quiet at the beginning. So maybe you want to step it up and you want to start it from maybe a couple seconds in so that it bypasses that real soft part of the music and then it'll start at the two second mark. So that's the difference between the start time and the start point. The start time once again is the whole part of the video. It's going to start at 7.44 seconds. The, or the start time. The start point is what part of the actual song do you want it to start at? You want to start it at two seconds. So there we have it. Starting and stopping music, speeding up your video, and pausing your video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Digital Goulash. My name's Chucky. Cheers.